flying at an altitude of nearly 31,000 feet and as far as 900 miles off the coast of California, this Hurricane Hunter, a WC-130J, gathers important weather data to help California meteorologists develop better storm forecasts. Cal OES works closely with our partners, like the U.S. Air Force, to deploy these resources to help Californians better prepare for incoming severe weather. This is about the third time we, that I personally have been out here uh, doing atmospheric river. Major Forrest Heinz has flown missions like these for seven years. These missions are called synoptic, so they're high altitude, uh, surveying a larger field of weather. California just endured a series of nine atmospheric river events, which brought heavy rain, strong winds, and flooding to most of the state. Data collected from these flights is vital to better understand future storms brewing in the Pacific, whose paths will likely take them directly over California. So it's kind of interesting to fly into the storm and then, you know, a day later, we will actually leave it on the ground. Flying through storms is job one, but every storm is different and presents unique, potentially life-threatening challenges for Major Heinz while he sits in the pilot seat. We fly through just about anything. We turn the autopilot on, we put it at the proper speed, and we just go. And then the EM this last year, I'm not sure if it was a replacement of the eye wall or the storm was just doing something funky, but uh, this year was the first time I've ever said, call it quits and we'll go home early. The WC-130J is the weather variant of the more common C-130. It's outfitted with specialized equipment designed to get a vertical profile of atmospheric rivers. Drop sons are fed through a tube in the plane and drop down into the storm. These sensitive instruments collect storm data, including temperature, wind speed, and moisture and pressure levels. Data is then sent directly from the aircraft into the Global Telecommunications System, a hub for weather data collected from around the world. Weather prediction systems can then pull this data to create more accurate forecasts. Any data we can provide to give them a heads up is, you know, really important to uh, our mission. For Major Joyce Harai, the plane's aerial reconnaissance weather officer, these missions hit close to home. She has family in the Sacramento and Central Coast areas who are facing these storms' wrath. So it's very rewarding to do a job that you really uh, have, you know, like a personal touch to as well. To see photos from this day-long flight and more from us, visit our website, news.caloes.ca.gov.